now, I'm Kenya. Yo, I'm Kendra. We're, We're twins. twins. We love to watch. And, and this, this is, is our reaction to Invincible Episode 4. Neil, Neil Armstrong. Armstrong. Beat, beat, your, beat your heart out. That was bad. You always do it. I'm sorry. I couldn't help it. Why you always gotta sing it with the album? Um, so here we are, another episode of Invincible. Um, we're doubling up again tonight, as we promised. The last couple of episodes were really awesome. Omni Man is really confusing the hell out of both of us. Um, and scaring the hell out of both of us. I really just feel like his his motive, only motivation is just to kiss. Um, so let's see. Let's find out what his actual motivations are, if they're actually going to get to some kind of revelation about that in this episode. Um, Regardless, it's going to be awesome. So let's get to the reaction. Before we do, if you like what you see, please like the video, subscribe to our channel, and make sure that you have your notifications turned on so you never miss an upload from us. All right, now, let's get to the edge. Yeah. Of course, knew it. Yeah, he looks like <laughs> Willem Dafoe. You men are too smart. The desert is unforgiving, I'll tell you. Not as much as what's after it. What are y'all digging up? The mummy? The next in the moon! Master. Yeah, it's the mummy. Soon you will once again teach this world what it means to truly suffer. <laughs> Son, we're starting a freaking avalanche. Here's been up here. Oh, okay. Sorry. It's okay. I'm in. <laughs> I love it. No way would that guy be that sprightly reaching the top of Mount Ed ever. Too bad the human race is hell bent on destroying it. Good thing they got us, right? Huh. Yeah, I guess. We've ended wars all over the universe, brought peace to thousands of galaxies, lifted alien races out of the mud and into the future. That's why I'm here. Conquering and destroying. I can't believe you left everything to come up a planet you've never even seen before. It's a world better than me. Mm. He's on to your lies. Coming here felt like a chance to build something new. And murder as much as I want without care. Yeah, Olga, did Joseph ever lie to you? Of course, all heroes do. He only made the mistake of dating me once when he told me everything was going to be fine. She on that secret mode, she in that incognito. Do you sleuthing? Don't get carried the. He's got super speed. Yeah, yeah, quit rubbing it in. So I spent all day teaching our son to break the sound barrier. Turns out the only motivation. Why is all dark in the house? Don't worry. A date? It's not a date. Amber and I are just hanging out. You say we go out too, huh? And when a couple of teenagers show us up. Olga wants me to sell her house. God, the poor woman's barely holding it together. She thinks there's a conspiracy. Look at it. Look, 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 look. Ah, she needs to quit drinking. Look, 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 look. What? You remember last year's Christmas party? She was a wreck. 
giving yourself oh, away, oh, woman's intuition, person. all that. I ate way too many eggs in the Philippines last summer. What were you doing there? Helping build schools. It was one of those group volunteer things. Wow. How was that? It felt so good. And it just made me realize that we're in a total bubble that keeps us from seeing what the world's actually like. What about you? You done any traveling? Uh, well, I've been to Mount Everest, the father-son trip. That's unbelievable. <laughs> How did you like Nepal? Or did you go through China? Uh, he ate. Boxes. <laughs> I wanted to bring one home from the Philippines, but they don't exactly fit in the backpack. Maybe this is your lucky... No, it's not. Oh my god, look at how cute those are. <laughs> those are rice separators. He bought a rice <laughs> separator. <laughs> what exactly do you separate them from? <laughs> this dude. Wondered if you'd come. You were in my house and you frightened oh. my wife. Instead of me. Oh! It was you. Then you came to finish the job you started. That's right. Ooh, 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 ooh! You can steer a security. You kill me. Who do you think they're gonna believe? Me or you? And I'm truth. Wait, already suspects. How long until someone does? Oh, this is good. Do really close your Oh! <laughs> You about to make yourself another brother? That's how he has to penetrate his skin. Wow. Fragmenting. <laughs> I remember having to do that. I wouldn't want to be in this ghost in it. Oh, if I have to hear one more time about how you're an original member of the Guardians of the Pillow. You'll do what? Exactly. I don't know. Probably explode something. Pick up your jaws. You're not tourists. This isn't a holy site. This is your job. The sooner you get up to speed, the sooner people stop dying. Hey, Cecil? Uh, you missed a spot? Ooh. You left that one there as a reminder. When you prove yourselves worthy of the heroes who came before you, it'll get cleaned off. Until then, stare at it. Whatever you That's think cold you blooded. Damn, Scarface. I'm glad we have an understanding. Ow! What the hell? Oh, I'm sorry. I must have pinched a nerve. I forget how soft humans are. Oh. What's he doing? What are you up to, robot? What? I think Omni Man reprogrammed him or something, man. What the hey, hell is this robot doing? You want to talk? Where are you? I know the usual teaching someone a lesson. I'm not just your wife, Nolan. That's why I deal with work stuff. Tell oh, you, you girl. Shush me. Woo! Ooh, he lies. Killed you. Yeah, I noticed. Why are you here, Cecil? George? <laughs> yeah, but I like it. I expect to feel the same way next time when we find a date. That sounds like a commitment to a second date. What's going on? Ness is about to launch the first manned mission to Mars. Yeah, I saw that. It's cool. I need your father to shadow the mission. Make sure nothing goes wrong. Only he won't do it. I'm busy training my son. If I didn't know better, I'd say you were trying to get rid of me. It's because of the Guardians Massacre that I want you on this mission. My priority is to my family and this planet. Yeah, he didn't want to go nowhere story. because he didn't want Dark I Lord to get here. to nobody. Debbie, help me out here. I don't like Marcus's school, but 
I can't think of a better reason they can even say it. How much school am I really going to miss? I can zip up to Mars and be back tomorrow. The fact that you don't know how far away Mars is, is exactly why you shouldn't be missing school. <laughs> Two, weeks. <laughs> Two weeks? That's right. I'm not ready. <laughs> Lots of people are going to tell you how to use your power. You ooh, ooh. need to decide Look at Nolan. you're on the phone today. <laughs> no. I'll do it. Sir, we wanted Nolan off-planet so we could investigate him for the murders without arousing his suspicion. What does sending Mark away get us? A chance to see what this kid can do. And more importantly, if his heart's in the right place. Okay, Scarface. Look, once you tell someone your secret identity, that's it. So, if you're gonna tell Amber the truth, you better be serious about her. Are you serious about her, Mark? You don't know. Y'all just went on one date. Whether it continues to hold. He doesn't know a lot <laughs> about a lot of things. Mark? Amber, I'm, uh... You're what? Volunteering. I'm, I'm going away and helping people. What? Like, far away. Well, that's great. When? Today. Right now. You better hurry up, bro. Amber, you're incredible and you make me want to be a better person, so at the risk of sounding totally desperate, please don't be as interested in me. <laughs> They're doing teen juggle superhero life really well. <laughs> yeah, I'm glad he got a helmet because I was like, I ain't gonna hold his breath for two weeks. Oh, Cutting it close, kid. Yeah, I'm sorry. Yeah, I'm sorry. Yeah, I'm Where is he supposed to stay? Here on this mission is the Martians. There are Martians? Where do you think Martian men came from? Jupiter? Uh, <laughs> I never thought about them. I don't know much about them. But we know they live underground and keep to themselves. Martian? Way to bury the lead, Cecil. Actually, the lead is make sure our astronauts get home safe. Because humanity's counting on you. Oh. <laughs> That's the guy! <laughs> you know, ever since Mark got his powers, we've been different. We've been me. I want Mark to know his people. I don't even know your people. I've never even met another Viltrumite. You're hiding something from me. And it hurts. I never thought I would have a family. And then you came along. And I love you. And Mark. Do you know what love is? So much. I'm terrified I could lose everything. Let him romance you, girl, because the next time y'all have a fight, he might haul off and punch you, crush her titties skull. off or something. <laughs> Baby, what, how you go? All right, I'm just gonna eat that. You can't eat that. You can't just, yeah, it's frozen. Well, he is a Viltrumite, so I guess he wouldn't I need to eat. I made reservations. I never make reservations. He's trying to wind it down, yeah, and figure out what you think you know. I'm trying to take her mind off that. It's a few. Stop being suspicious. Ain't no one here. We are down. Here, I'm running in there and go get you some food. <laughs> they didn't tell the freaking astronauts that there was a dude accompanying them? I guess they weren't supposed to know. I hope we do get to send people to Mars one day. Now, dude, please don't tell me they left him. What? What happened? Oh, the Martians got him. I don't know if it's what happened to the Guardians or Mark or if it's just us, but I feel like I'm standing on the edge of a cliff. I'm the only one of us who can't fly. Cecil thinks I had something to do with what happened to the Guardians. But you didn't. I'm the only survivor. I'm not human. What do we do? We stay together as a family. You, me, and Mark. Man, I don't know, bro. Do you trust me, Daddy? Uh, bro, there's a dragon behind you. You don't care. Do you trust me? I trust you. You have no idea the 
how much I needed to hear you say that with my beautiful If wife. she hadn't have said that, he probably would have had to kill her. Do you investigate dark blood? Do you investigate Tony? He's my favorite character. Yeah. Did he tell Cecil that he suspects Nolan? Yeah. And Cecil was like, shut the hell up. Don't get caught, man. That would be cooler, demon detective guy. He had a black coat. Cecil. some face hooks. Viltrumites can understand any language. Welcome to Mars. Wow. Thanks for having me, Mr. Marsman, sir, your highness. <laughs> what is your purpose here? Sounds like astronauts. I text some of my fellow Earthmen on a mission to your lovely planet, and if we don't get back in one piece, I'm really gonna look like a dick. Uh, yeah, we don't know who that is. I am one of the destroying race that led to twelve destruction across the universe. But with an appropriate ghost, they become unified and unstoppable. Our ship changed in abilities and its resistance. But if a single separate fuse is within your people, they will rise up as one in savage Mars and soon after. Oh. Tell me, Earthman. How are you able to resist them? I'm part Viltrumite. Ever heard of us? I am the Emperor of Mars. Of course I've heard of you! The humans are scheduled for immediate execution. We do not wish them coming in contact with a separate. I understand. <laughs> Hurry, 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 hurry. Oh. What you gonna do, man? He's gonna try to wreck him. Y'all is a sick one. That one. The first men and women to fall in a minute. Return home after a five of a That's what he said. They would rise up. I'm thinking there's some parent sex going on. <laughs> That's alien. That's you can't just be handing Martian rocks to people, man. Just make sure you never show it to any geologist or anyone who knows anything about rocks. Thank you. Yes, what Donald found when we searched your office. Dried blood. Granted, it didn't kill the aliens. It didn't try to kill Nova. But I have to do this anyway. 
Is he gonna send him to hell? Why? Because you didn't listen to me when I told you to drop the damn case. Can't excise me. Destroyed the book you need for ritual centuries ago. I had a few of my guys reconstruct it. Technology. Am I right? Why are you gonna exercise him? Let you be the one to protect him. You only see good and evil, black and white. Well, I need to keep things gray until I can figure out why no one killed the Guardians and how to stop them. Say I'd see you in hell. But there's a worse place waiting for you. Oh, poor man! Demon! This <laughs> dude's squid. What is up, robot? What the heck is- oh, is that the- What is that? Oh! Phase one begins. Apparently, I'm in the clear. He even apologized. Cecil never apologizes. No. So, what's that? Something Damien Darkblood planted in there. Think? I like the episode. It wasn't as bloody and gory um, and action-packed as the last three episodes, but um, it, it did have a few of my favorite characters, although <laughs> the demon detective has been excised back to hell. Hopefully he'll make a comeback. The, the mid credit scene suggests that he planted something, and so I don't know if that's a means for him I to hope so. keep a foot on Earth or whatever, but um, anything that's gonna help Figure out why the Omni Man did what he did. I'm all the way here for it. Yeah, I agree. I actually liked the quieter pace, I guess, of this episode. I really enjoyed seeing Mark out on his own yeah. in his first sort of like um, <laughs> space <laughs> mission uh, to a planet like Mars, right. being a fish out of water with the Martian. <laughs> um, Jaiman Hansu did a really awesome job as the Martian Emperor. Now he's brought back this thing to Earth that could I conquer think Earth. That was a Martian because the hu human astronaut that was uh, shaken over by yeah. the um, he was still the, on the thing, slugly thing that he was still on Mars. So I think a Martian took that guy took that guy's place because Martian the Martians are the shapeshifters, right? Yeah. So I don't know Why what's going to happen, but a Martian <laughs> trying to get to Earth. That's a good question. I don't know. Mark is going to have to deal with it and so is his father. Nolan um, doing everything that he could to distract Debbie and get her to trust him again. I, you know, that looked like a tender moment, you know, when they were in Italy and the dragon. He was like, oh, do you trust me? But I think it was because if she said, no, I don't trust you, he probably would have had to, you know... Yeah, he's, a, you know what I'm saying? he's a master manipulator and it's kind of the way he behaves and how he is manipulating her and everybody else around him it's yeah. just so that scene was with dark blood in his um office man um, and he was like levitating like yo bro amber didn't bother me this episode i thought she was actually really cool i enjoyed their little date where he got her the rice separator um and mark was being cute as always so yeah i i agree it wasn't as, like crazy as um the other three episodes that we watched but I really did actually enjoy the character development and a little bit of plot development that we got. So that is it for episode four. We are moving right along to episode five. If you liked what you saw, please like our video, subscribe to our channel, and you know, turn on your notifications so you know when we upload a video next time. We'll see you next time. Bye guys.